2150 kilogram car moving east at 10 meter per second collides with a 3250 kilogram car moving uh, east. The car stick together and move east as a unit after collision at 5.22. So what is the velocity of 3250 kilogram car before the collision? What is the decrease in the kinetic energy? So initially it's like this. This is mass M1, which is what was moving at 10 meter per second. This was mass M2, which was moving at some speed V. They collide and stick together. So that's M1 plus M2. And they start traveling at 5.22 meter per second. Okay, so we need to find the value of V and the decrease in the kinetic energy. So definitely the momentum is conserved. So what is the initial momentum? Initial momentum is M1 or let's call it 10 M1 plus M2 V. And the final momentum is going to be M1 plus M2 times 5.22. Let's substitute the values. M1 is 2150 and M2 is 3250. And final will be M1 plus M2. So what is 2150 plus 3250? That's 5400. So that's 5400 times 5.22. So uh, since the momentum is conserved, this means that P initial should be equal to P final, uh, which means that <clears throat> uh, 21500 plus 3250 V should be equal to 5400, 5400 times 5.22, right? 5400 times 5.22, which is 28188 over here. Subtracting uh, 21500 both sides, we get 6688. And dividing both sides by 3250, the value of the velocity comes out as 2.06 meter per second after the collision up to two decimal places. They also need the change in the kinetic energy or decrease in the kinetic energy. So uh, for decrease in the kinetic energy, we first find the final kinetic energy, which will be half total mass, which is 5400 since they combine times V square, which is 5.22 whole square and uh, uh, and, uh, and the initial uh, and the initial uh, uh, speed is initial energy is because of both individually. So initial kinetic energy is because of half the first mass, which is 2150 and a speed, which is, uh, I think, 10. So 10 square plus half uh, the mass of the other one, which is, I think, 3250 times the velocity which we just found as 2.06 whole square. So uh, the change in the kinetic energy will be the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. So let me just grab my calculator and find this up. So 55.22 square times 5400 over two. So this value is coming as 73570.68. And this value is coming as times 2150 plus 0.5 times 3250 times 2.06 squared. So this is coming as 11114395.85. So definitely there is a decrease. Uh, so this value minus 73570.68. Uh, so this value is coming as uh, minus 40825.17 joules so this is the decrease in the kinetic energy minus because that has been decreased that is indicating that it has decreased thank you